Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be going over the Learn Worlds website builder and give you an overview about how it works. If you'd like to follow along or test it out yourself, I will leave a link down below in the description where you can get a free trial for Learn Worlds, or if you're already using them, you can use that to log in. So what I did is create a new course just to show you kind of what it gives you when you're creating a new site. And before I do, I want to talk about some of the site design aspects. There's Theme Explorer, Signup Forms, Logo, and Favicon, which I did a separate video about, Custom Code, if you're into that type of stuff, and of course, Site Flavors. Something I want to bring up right off the bat is going to be Theme Explorer. I think that this is a fantastic feature. Uh, right before you start creating it, I would recommend going to this because what it's going to do is allow you to choose a color preset that's going to go with either your brand or just maybe a color scheme that you happen to like. So we can click on some of these and you're going to see how they change. Not a whole lot going on there with the colors, but uh, if we move down a little bit more, you're going to see how they change more with yellow. We have birthday cake here. Let's see. We have electric. Middle East sunset, that looks pretty cool. Once again, this is all about more so your brand and colors that you prefer. I like this one, kind of reminds me of Whalers. <laughs> I used to live in Connecticut, we'd go to Hartford Whalers. Uh, if you know that NHL team, you're probably as old as I am, but aside from that, I think this is a great way to kind of choose your color scheme. Instead of going in and just changing everything one by one, this will save you a lot of time and that's a good thing. We also have our current fonts in case you want to utilize something else. I kind of just happen to like how it looks overall. So I'm just going to hit save and close here. I wanted to show you that that's something you probably want to tackle prehand so then you don't have to worry about changing all the different aspects when it comes to the color. So save and close. All right, so here we are with the actual site builder. What's great about it is that it is a drag and drop builder overall. I like the fact that there are gonna be layouts that you can utilize right here. This once again is also going to make your life very easy. What you can do is edit sp each specific section, as you can see here. I'm gonna kind of scroll through so you can see some of the aspects that you might wanna change, whether there's gonna be a divider or not. You have actions, whether it's e visible on sp for specific users on specific devices. We have our layout and of course effects like sliding in, flashing in, fading in, stuff like that. So that's what you can do with each of these sections there. Of course, if you wanted to delete something like most drag and drop builders, you can move it up, you can move it down, you can duplicate the section or you can delete it. For example, I'll show you how you duplicate it. If we scroll down, we should have another section that is exactly like it. Uh, the reason I have that there, I just want to show you that you can also delete it. Okay, so let's go back there. As we scroll down, a lot of these presets will give you just, you know, a lot of sections that you can use. You don't have to use all of them, of course. So this could be just maybe examples about us, link to different pages, of course, maybe you have a blog. I did a di different video about that where you can choose and set up your blog. Pretty simple to edit things. So if you wanted to double click, edit and type. As with most of these, say, website builders or even landing page builders, I recommend using some type of theme or setting or output. With this, they're going to give you something to get started with. And of course, you could always change and add different layouts, as we talked about right here. Within each specific section, they're going to have plenty of layouts that you can utilize, as you can see here. So if you don't like this layout all that much, no problem. You can change it up. Let's say let's go here and let's change this up here. So... This is talking about how we have over 15 years of certified experience. Maybe you just don't want that. Maybe you don't want the video. So let's go to a different layout and we can kind of go through and pick something like, let's see, let's go with this one right here. Okay, so benefits of training programs that you could probably do maybe down below. So let's say we want to move this down. We have our courses here. Like I said, this is just the custom new one that I created to add it in there. And of course, like say benefits of our courses, something like that edit it around. We have beautiful sales pages. That's not going to be a big deal, right? You know, results driven. Number two could be something like testimonials and so on and so forth. Obviously, you can change the third one around if needed to whatever it's going to be. This is less about the aesthetics and more about, you know, changing things around, adding sections. Our team, of course, if you wanted to change this around, we can edit on this. We can do remove. We can do edit. We can do change. We can do change right here. And the cool thing, of course, you can always upload your own, but let's just say you want to utilize a free pick. We can do smiling business person. This is going to come from Unsplash. Uh, let's go with this one right here. And we're going to want to change this around. So centered, repeated. We don't want auto repeated. So we'd probably have to get a different picture for this specifically just because you can't move it over. So let's do a different one very quickly. Let's do a uh, change. Do smiling person. 
So we're looking for vertical one where the person's right in the center. So that should do a little bit better. Perfect. Okay. So John Doe, there's John Doe. Obviously you changed that around with the person's name. So Mary Doe. Okay. <laughs> Moving down, scrolling down a little bit more. We have our sections. Of course, if you didn't want something like that, copyright current year, that's going to be intact. We can also change your logo. There's going to be sections where you can actually change the top and the bottom of your page as well. But overall, it's not too difficult of a builder to use. Like I always talk about and I repeat so many times, it's more about finding something that you like, going with it, changing it around. And then of course, it's I think it's so much easier when you get set up with a framework there instead of starting from scratch. So let's just do software here, you know, a software team, something like this looks great. If that's what you're all about, of course, right? And of course, to say you want to edit buttons, what you can do is click on this. We have our action. So go to, you could always pick a specific page, maybe none, you know, that's up to you. If you want to go to a specific URL that's outside of where your course is going to be. But of course it has all the pages that you've created, or maybe you want to utilize pop-ups, emails, whatever it's going to be. It's very flexible and it should be, you know, based upon where you want to send your audience. This is going to be your home page. So if you had something like this, you want to have like the biggest and most important action up here that could be signing up for a course that could to get emails. They do have the ability for using those as well. As you can see, there's going to be some pop-ups right here. Let's click on add pop-up just to kind of quickly show you some of them that they offer. These are going to be very helpful. For example, if someone goes to leave or maybe they've been around a while and say like, Hey, don't go. You can always get an email opt-in that way. I'm going to close off on that. And of course we had our funnels, which I've created previously in another video. These are going to be separate pages where if you want to, let's save this real quick. Let's go over here. So if you wanted to provide, say, a free ebook, you can do that as well, where they get sent to their email. You can collect the email as well. And of course, that's how that would work. So this is overall just a very quick overview in case you're curious about how their website builder works. In my opinion, once again, start off with something that they give you. Go layout by layout, as in section by section. You can change around the layouts, add in a different picture, obviously change around the text. And of course, if you want to add new sections, you can do that as well. I think in my opinion, that will allow you to get your website up and running much quicker, especially with a lot of the more advanced features that they have here, because with a lot of stuff that they have going on, the more you have to figure out, obviously it could take some time. So, but anyway, that should just about do it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And I will also have that link in the description where you can check out Learn Worlds. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching my overview video, and I will see you in my next one.